When Boston and New York met up on Thursday, the lineup changes for the uprising made the stage two champions a heavy favorite to win. Would Boston be able to pull off the upset? Monty and Doa have the call. We're going to Phil Sky Industries first, guys. The first battleground between Boston and New York. Enemy Widowmaker this entire time. And the Widow hasn't had a lot of support. Here we go. Oh, it's That's a stick. A great stick. Wow, on to Arc Striker. What a throw to start this attack with. And they get Janice as well. Note finishes off Sabiel B. And that was definitive from Boston Uprising coming in here. Mecco just trying to buy as much time as he can for his team to reset onto point B. But you think that's going to be point A, huh? Try and come in right now. Primal Rage has been popped for Gopsu. He's going to take out Libero, and that's going to force Jonak for the Transcendence. Yeah, Transcendence comes in, and that's going to not prevent Mecco from getting demeked anyway. Xavier will be down again. Note, taking him out with the charge here. Mistakes with the dead eye finds Mecco out of the mech, ironically, I suppose. Janus has to back away, too. He's got, like, no health left, and Boston with a ton of momentum coming into point B here. Uh, Libero staying on the junk rat for oh, now. The re-engagement coming through. Janus is here. All the alts are gone for New York. They used everything and they couldn't push Boston back. This rip tire has to be huge for Libero. He's going to get a D mech, so that's all that's right. Something. But I don't know if they're going to be able to save this. They're sitting there at 86% right now, and the kills keep coming through for Boston. I mean, Neko's popping off right now. That's two kills for him, and that's going to be 442 on the clock left over for Boston. Pretty insane attack round here on Volskaya. Definitely good for the uprising. Oh, gonna try to chase him down, but around the corner comes Sabiel B. He's got that pulse bomb ready to go. Oh, but Neko finds him with the right click. Janus goes in, they're gonna track down Neko, though he's in big trouble. Note down as well, so New York in prime position to claim this point at the very end here. But they've only got 10 seconds left. Janus pops that primal rage. The cleanup is real. I don't know if they even needed that. Uh, Winston ultimate per se, but it looks like they will at least claim point A. They'll have to do it in overtime, though. Matrix maybe did a little bit of work. Their mistake's down, though. Libero gets him with the dash. Flea backing out, trying to get the D-Mech on the note. They will get it. Libero with the Dragon Blade out. Trying to cut through that transcend. It's full support ultimates used on the Boston side, now used on the New York side. But Ark holding onto that Valkyrie just a bit longer. Gamsu needs some healing, needs to get back to his team here. Kellex drops, oh, mistake six on Libero, and he pulls out his Dragon Blade, Reflect Kill onto Jonak, and he's going crazy on this Genji now. Janus gets the kill on the mistakes in the end. Janus sent back to the moon, and Boston just trying to hold just a bit longer. Gamsu with the Primal Rage may just be able to do it. Three, two, one, and Boston Uprising will take the first map in this series. What a great hold from Boston, Doa. Boston. One map up over New York Excelsior, and you know, honestly, that map was not even close. Taking a win off New York is still huge, right? But now you gotta be even huger, if that's a word, on Nimbani. It's good Winston Shield from Boston that denied a lot of the, uh, the grenade there from Jonak. Now Janus onto the point. He's got the nano boost. Here comes the Dragon Blade, though. Being pulled out by mistake, Stryker finds a kill onto Janus in New York. He pushed off the point a little bit here. Self-Destruct comes in from Note. Boston trying to turn this into a point they take. They're making progress. They've nearly got it all the way already. Arc, that Valkyrie. Oh, Libero nearly down. Opportunity, and there we go. Mistakes helps Neko finish him off. And it looks like Boston's going to be able to grind this one out. It does look that way. Libero is going to get resurrected. Well, though. So has the Barrage. He's going to take out and Mercy, but into the transcendence. transcendence is not where you want that. I mean, you trade the Barrage yeah. for the Transcendence. That's not bad if you can hold the point here. But Jonak and Ark are down again. Boston Uprising making a short detour to go remove the supports from New York Excelsior. And now note, just knocking Libero out of the air. The payload will get going. Into hold. Only five seconds remaining for Boston. You don't see a lot of holes on point B, but New York is trying to make it happen right now. Can he keep him pushed back? Boston does touch. They do start overtime. Transcendence comes in from Neko. Now Transcendence from Jonak. They're still fighting on the payload right now, but Jonak with the trance is keeping Mecco up. Another Dragon Blade from Mistakes. Yeah, and he needs to get a ton of kills with this if they're going to hold it. Oh, and he gets caught by the self-destruct. New York on the verge of holding right here. What a crazy result that would be for the attack. And there's not a lot of members of Boston remaining. The tank's dropping in a hurry there. And just to put the icing on the cake, the attack visor from Libero. And that is going to be a pretty staunch defense towards the end from New York. Time for New York to move on to the point. They were playing with fire being in that position. Jonak threw a lot of those through there. So you're, you're going to hit one of those eventually. Gamsu taken out. Note d Mac looking pretty good for New York so far. Attack visor trying to change that. Ah, Jonak just jumps in front of him oh. with the attack visor. A little bit of blocking going on. 
with the healing and with the big Zenyatta waving his arms around. Mistakes can't shoot past that. And that's two ultimates blocked just with the transcendence. Nano boost attack visor aren't going to do anything. They can't work their way back onto the payload. The payload, it's so close. Nearly there, just three meters remaining as Boston scrambles to try to hold this one. Oh, but they lose mistakes again. Everyone just camping on the payload at the moment. Sabu Lee goes around the back, gets Kellex, just walked into the back lines. And Jonas, Jonas is just harassing Neko at the back, too. He can't do it. get a sight line to heal. Wow, it was does it. close, though, very close. It really was. I mean, that was another pretty valiant effort for Boston Uprising. And the only thing crazier than seeing one hold on point B would have been to see two holds on point <laughs> B, and they nearly made that happen. All tied up are we. Boston versus New York, one and one. We're going to start things off. It looks like on Ruins. This is going to be a really interesting map because if Boston wins this one, then uh, I feel like we're in for a game five, so we will see. As best he can, heading back to the point now. Pulse Bomb goes in. No kills with that one. Note finds the kill on Nemano. And there's a transcendence from New York, from New York to cover Animo as he gets a res onto the Winston. New York still holding the point for the moment. Now that Mistakes is going down, the pressure goes back onto Boston. It looks like it's going to be another hold. Amato's going to fall, so now with Mistakes coming back up, there may be an opportunity for Boston to retake right here, especially uh, as Animo falls. Yep. That should be it. Yeah, Mistakes finds the kill onto Jonak, and it's going to get flipped probably just around at 99%. See how long they can hold it. Looks like it'll get flipped now, but New York can take it easy. They used a lot of ults in that last fight, and things went wrong, but they have plenty of time now to build up some more and come back and take it. That's right, make that three as he finds mistakes again. See if he'll be waiting out, waiting until he gets a bit of health back. Pulse Bomb's still loaded up. It's gonna be self-destruct, coming in for note. Gets taken out before he remakes, though. And Sabi will be... Doesn't really even need to do a whole lot. His team kind of taking care of things for him. Jonak with two there. They're going to flip it back right away, and that's just probably going to be the first be point it. here. Yeah, New York only gives up 33% to Boston before retaking it. Uh, trying to play the point. They want to play the low range game where they cap it and then force New York to come back in. Well, oh, Mistake's got a big kill onto Jonak there, too, so that helped Boston take it, but New York trying to grind it back. Animo gets the res onto Jonak anyway. Pine run over, though. That's going to cause the DMAC, though, eventually from Note. And New York's going to come out ahead in the end. Should be able to flip this point back here. So they're going to have to wait for Sabiel to respawn. Boston coming back in. Mistakes has that EMP again. 80% nearly for them. Mono, a lot of damage onto him, but he's got plenty of healing. Fine with just another zoning dead eye to just keep people away, build up some more percent. Come back around the other side. Oh, Kalex getting really low, and there's a kill. Mono finds it, gonna go primal range immediately. And he's gonna send Neko flying. Goodbye. Great ult from Mono. Pine gets the kill on the mistakes, and yeah, Boston's not taking it this time. Yeah, they have to reset instantly. That's a good call from Boston. They oh, know yeah. if they don't do that, there's no chance they get back in time. They saw the transcendence to use here, as well as nearly the Valkyrie, but they probably have to pop trans just to get to the point. Got to use say. Primal Rage to get to the point. Yep. Try to get in, hopping through the he air. Couldn't get oh, there. he couldn't get there. What? And New York just going to take Ilios like that. And we're going to move into Junkertown, which has been a great map for the Excelsior 5-2 and two overall. And one of the reasons why they're so strong is, of course, not only do they have some strong Widowmaker play, but they're probably the best team in the league at the Orisa Roadhog combo. Kill on to Stryker, though. The tire was just around the corner, it looked like. Oh, Libero! Libero gets Stryker and the Rip Tire at the end. That was some crazy mind games that were happening. Rip Tire killed by Stryker and then Libero returning in kind, but also with the Junkrat kill. It's not gonna matter in the end, though. Only Sabiobi and Mono here. Yep, and that'll be point A completed for the Uprising. To fight that 5v6 for a moment, Mono back now. He'll be backing away. Oh, nearly gets taken up by the self-destruct. It catches Ark. So he'll be ducking in for a little bit of healing, but that payload getting a lot of distance for the Uprising right now. Another kill from Mistakes on Nemeco. Libero needs a big rip tire here to stall out the momentum. He finds Mistakes. Jonak down. Do they get the res, possibly? Do they have the res even right now? They do. Yep, there it is. Striker sending the rip tire. Finds Sabilby. And that's all kills for Boston. Now it's about handling these respawns. Mano comes in. Neko gets a... Oh, he got a drop right on his head. That's two with the self-destruct from Mecco. Valkyrie. 
from Kellex, just trying to keep his team on it. They can't kill Sabilby though. It's too elusive right now, and that's gonna give more time for the response to come in from New York. Have they done it? They're so close, and they get it. 23 seconds left, but Boston does finish their attack run. There's a nice draw in onto Gamsu. He's in trouble. Mistakes down. Sabilby finds a widow 1v1, and there's the transcendence in the face of the whole hog. Coming out of Neko in New York, grinding this fight out in a hurry. Kellex running for his life, but Jonak right there. You can run, but you can't hide from this guy. Oh, oh man. Mini Diva right after. His accuracy Jonak. is so good. And now Jonak comes in just at the right time with that transcendence. Meko nearly fell, but he's got the healing on the tanks. There's the kill on the Gamsu. Big rip tire, though. Meko and Ark found by Striker. There's a res on the Neko, too. So Mano finds himself more or less on his own. Libero sending out his own Riptire. Transcendence used immediately by Neko. And the Riptire's not finding anything because no. Neko's in the trance. Mono has to walk up. Well, Mistakes got the Riptire too. So now that may be it. Can Meko even get back there? He He's can. trying. He's on the soldier. Libero is now dead. Jonak coming back on the Sombra, but this is desperation time. It's all about those movement abilities. Art comes in, but he's only a mercy on his own. And Boston is going to win Junkertown. We are going to map five. All right, guys, here we go. Game number five, Boston Uprising versus a New York Excelsior, an important stat going into this one is that Boston has gone to game five eight times. They have won six of those. So Boston overwhelmingly have won when it comes to these tiebreaker scenarios. This is against New York's though. So this is gonna be the toughest one yet for these guys. He's in trouble, has the Guardian Angel cross. Oh, close call with the hook from Mecco, but Libero right there with the trap for Kellex in the end. They Kills come in though for Boston, they're not done. They left Gamsu behind. Gamsu had to go pick up some health packs. And being very, very patient, Rez comes in. They do bring Libero back into the fight for the moment. There's a big reflect, comes through. Oh, Sabi will be taken down. Striker got him with the pulse bomb. And now Jonak pops that transcendence. Can they maybe get the reds? They use the Valkyrie as well. Mistakes. Dragon Blade is out. Mecco demecked. Meanwhile, support ultimates used on the Boston side. Everybody throwing everything they can into this fight. And it's Boston coming out on top. New York sending everyone they've got left towards the point. But Boston zoning well. Sabi will be keeps OT going for the moment here. Art tries, but he can't get there, and that's gonna be Boston taking a crucial first point on Oasis. End up dying to the car, but the yeah. double flashback Ooh. saving Jonak's life. That's right, Sable will be playing in traffic. Not wise, Mecco trying to back away, low health, kept alive though by the breather. Damage reduction helping out, but Boston does get the point anyway. And Sabiobi has to be resurrected just to keep 99. this map alive, though. Libero, the first one in. High noon, popped to zone him out. That's right, into overtime. Boston on the verge of beating New York Excelsior. If they can win this last fight, Mistakes forces that transcendence from Jonak. Oh, and Kellex down, though. Back onto Mecco, maybe a chance here for Mistakes. There's a big EMP coming in. They get Jonak, save will be very low. A kill from Gamsu, Neko helping out. They're pushing New York back. Neko going crazy, and that's gonna be Boston. They will defeat the New York Excelsior. What a statement Whoa. from the Boston Uprising after everything they've endured this no past kidding. week. Boston. To come in and win like this is just extraordinary. Boston is just fine, guys. They do look just fine, more than fine. Only the third opponent to beat the NYXL.